Welcome to our next module. Here we're gonna be talking about global shutter and rolling shutter. And again, understanding the differences between these is really important when trying to distinguish between cinema cameras and DSLRs. Global shutter is what you're gonna find in cinema line. It's less likely to produce image distortion with fast movements. It's like that jello effect. So with DSLRs, they use an electric shutter, which works by scanning the image from top to bottom, often causing what's called the rolling shutter effect, which happens when you do fast movements like whips or pans. So for example, Christian, if you wanna just kinda of whip and pan really quick for our audience here, maybe even a little bit faster, um, when we're kind of viewing and looking at that, again, you're seeing a little bit of that rolling shutter effect, and you're really less likely to get that with a cinema camera because it has global shutter. Um, so you're not really gonna have that kind of issue when we're creating that movement. So again, avoiding that jello effect. Again, this is important to understand why you're experiencing these, why you're getting that rolling shutter effect. And again, it is due to the fact that you are not being able to utilize a global shutter. Do not utilize shutter angle like a cinema camera. You are basing off of shutter speed and most likely your DSLR is again, scanning the image from top to bottom. So therefore when you have these fast movements, it is not able to capture all that information properly. Now with all that being said, let's move on to our next portion of the program. 